everybody, it's me, Kasha Wolf, and today we are talking about cauldrons. Now, a cauldron, the reason why I'm going over this for altars is that <clears throat> the cauldron can basically contain and hold incense. And what you're supposed to do is put a, uh, like, um, actually it contains fire. You can use this on your altar basically as an incense. And usually an incense or some sort of oil or whatever you're going to want to have on your altar. Now, cauldrons, you can put stuff in it and whatnot, but <sighs> water, like I have told you guys before, is not really recommended. But I, I remember someone had left a comment basically that you have to take care of the cauldron no matter what, even if, no matter what you put in it, you're basically going to have to take care of it or else it'll rest up anyway. And that actually is really true because I know my mother has like a pot or a cauldron that actually, you know, will rust up if you don't get an oil for it or a special oil or something like that. I'll have to look into it and tell you guys about it. But for now, when it comes to water, try not to leave it in there too long. A lot of times cauldrons are used to burn wishes in. You can get a piece of paper, write a wish on there, uh, fold it up put it in there, light it, and it'll contain it. Um, not only that, also it's used for incense and stuff like that. Burning herbs and everything like that. But the cauldrons have been used for a very long time. Some people who are in covens or in uh, big groups like that might invest in a big cauldron. And cauldrons are very pretty pricey. This one I believe I got for $20 or $28, and as you can see, it's a very small cauldron. Um, but it's cute and it works, and it, you don't really need a big one. And this one's a little bit larger. As you can see, it's not really um, decorated or kind of, you know, fixed up in any way. It's just a regular old cauldron. Um, but I believe this is like $48. Now, bigger ones, I've seen some like this size or even like that, and they're quite expensive. There are some that have, there are some people that have cauldrons that are probably like this big or even bigger. Um, in Egypt, I guess the cauldron was used, and they would actually bury you with your cauldron um, when you die. So anyway, you guys, these legs, like some cauldrons have three legs, and some have four. The four legs, the, if those with four legs can represent earth, air, fire, water, or anything else that you can think of that represents four when it comes to magical working. I will actually be doing another video on cauldrons, getting into details about all that stuff. But really what I'm telling you about them now is for your altar. The ones with leg legs can represent the maiden, the mother, and the crone. The three faces of the goddess, the moon goddess basically. Um, but yes, you guys, that's basically, you know, a little sum up of these. Now, when it comes to making these, I haven't really, uh, found a way, but they were made, like, a long time ago, people were able to make them and stuff like that, but when it comes to making these, I think it'd be really difficult. Now, it's not really necessary. Basically, what this is going over is incense, or the cauldron, because the cauldron is used in magical work. But the cauldron also represents rebirth because it kind of looks like, you know, maybe the belly of a mother. And it represents rebirth and prosperity and stuff like that and emotions because, you know, it holds. Almost like the, the cups on the tarot cards. You know how there's the four different suits, just like how there are for regular cards. There's cups, swords, wands, and pentacles, or also known as coins, and the cups are represented as emotion or emotion. But yes, you guys, like I'm going to show you the placement where you can have your cauldron, and I'm also going to show you a few other things that you can use instead of a cauldron to burn. So everybody, as you can see, here is the placement of your incense or your cauldron. Um, you don't only have to use a cauldron. So for your, your uh, incense, you can actually use your cauldron with a brick and incense. You can use incense of any size, even an oil burner and a little cone incense. 
So, you guys, I hope that helped you out, and I hope you enjoyed. Bye, and blessed be.